What makes a car worth it? What makes you say, yeah, that's the one? I think for each person, the question is answered differently. Maybe it's horsepower. Maybe it's two doors. Maybe it's four speed. Maybe it's a Ford, a Chevy, a Buick, an old Mopar, a Cadillac. Or maybe it's something different. Maybe it has nothing to do with any of that. Maybe it's the feeling you get when you're driving down the road and it's only you, your thoughts, maybe a loved one. It's a feeling of being free. It's driving into the sunset. It's driving into the sunrise. It's turning on the heater in the winter and feeling the warmth of the engine that's going to take you where you want to go. It's the familiar feeling of a worn steering wheel. It's the way the hood looks from the driver's seat or the way the engine sounds at a stoplight. It's the way the wind hits your face with all the windows rolled down or the top off. For me, it's a lifetime of creative work and respect given to the designers and builders of cars from a time gone by. It's true, they don't make them like they used to. Each one, because of its individual history for me, is a one of a kind. Like every person behind the wheel, they have a different story to tell something creative to offer. Who knows what kind of roads all these cars have been down, but they're not done yet, and neither am I. And if you're watching this, neither are you. There's another road to go down, another place to explore, story to tell, a road to get lost on. So let's get lost again, looking at some cars. Welcome to this episode of the Matt's Rad Show. What's going on, gang? Matt from Matt's Red Show here. Today we are in Annandale, Minnesota at Classic Rides and Rods. Um, it's a classic car dealership. Um, this is not a museum, although they've got some museum pieces in here. Uh, but like, everything you see today is for sale. This is an incredible spot. It's an awesome spot to look at cars. Uh, it, it's got great nostalgia. You know, just the space and the, the atmosphere of the place is great to come check out some cars. Uh, guy's been nice enough to let me just snoop around the entire lot. We're gonna do a full lot tour today. I'm gonna show you every single car that they have for sale today. Uh, we'll put the gears and the prices on there for you guys and we'll take a look at this incredible spot here. Um, so yeah, it's snowing out today and you know, of course, car shows are gone. So like, I'm like one of the only ones here today, man. And so we get this full lot tour. It's like, it's incredible. Like all to myself, this is amazing. All to myself, like hundreds of beautiful cars to show you guys. I love this. So I'm like getting a candy store today, guys. So I'm gonna show you some awesome cars today. I appreciate you watching this episode. Give it that like for me if you enjoy this stuff. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So let's get in there. Let's see these cars, guys. Let's do this. Hi, Terry Sullivan here from Classic Rides and Rods in Annandale, Minnesota. Um, we have uh, basically muscle cars, uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s, what we normally have to uh, sell, but we do everything from um, 1914 to 2020, depending on the mileage, um, but mostly centering on uh, 50s and 60s. Um, classic cruisers. Uh, been around since 2010 here at Annadale with uh, about 100 cars at our facility, about 200 on our website. We run um, about 20 to 25 cars a month through our, our program. Ship them all over the world, all the way from to Europe, uh, a, lot of, a lot around the United States, but the majority of them are local cars within 50 to 60 miles of, of our facility. Um, we do both consignment and we own some of the vehicles. Um, all cars are running and driving, ready to show. Um, we do a great car show in July and in the summertime um, here at, at, at the facility. Um, but we have uh, two uh, buildings full of um, classic cars. We have a, a brand new uh, building next door with uh, all of our uh, cars as they come in and, and get checked out and then get ready to sell. So uh, if you're interested in finding some good quality running and driving show cars, come to Classic Rides and Rods. Awesome. A couple of 1940s here. This is a 1944 Deluxe. Look at the interior on this thing. Look up their website. Look at the 
price on there. Look at the interior of this thing. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it's immaculate. It's absolutely incredible. Wow. Look at the little flames in this thing. They're like ghost flames. You can just barely see them. I love it. Ford Deluxe here. Incredible. Gorgeous Oldsmobile, it's going for 36 something, I believe. The Oldsmobile rocket in there. Pontiac Trans Am here. Two Oldsmobile Starfire, immaculate shape. I am just like a kid in a candy store right now. Looks like they're sitting at the drive-in, Starlight Drive-in. This place is awesome, just as a venue, they've got it all set up. This is just one room. We'll go back there behind the curtains and see some more amazing cars. But I just kind of wanted to show you this room here. It's kind of fun. Got it all set up, like like I said, I guess they rent this out for weddings and receptions and stuff like that. Be kind of a cool spot. Very cool. spotlights on these things spotlight slash mirror look 
with a little thing, you know, to grab it and point it around on both sides. It looks really nice too. Ford Galaxy 500 Sunliner 62. I've not seen too many of these at the car shows I've been at. I see a lot more of the Chevys and the Impalas and stuff like that around this year. Not as many of these. Mustang Mach 1. Another nice Mustang here. Look at this, 69 Dodge Cornette. Look at that, with the three, the three lights in the back there, that's, that is so cool. You don't see that anywhere. Another Dodge Coronet. Super B here. One of my favorites.
this Corvair here. Really great shape. Look at this Pontiac Grand Prix. <laughs> these are pretty badass looking cars actually. Look at the way these things sit. Corvette, chilling at the Corvette bar here. All right, moving right along here, we got another Corvette. Got a uh, big old Bronco. Man, this this is a nice Bronco. Big old square body Bronco. This is this will be going for some bucks here. I think he said this one's going to auction. Immaculate. Jeez. Tucked behind the curtains over here. <laughs> Here's a nice square body Chevy Blazer. I think it's an 84. Here's an amazing 56 Ford flatbed truck. Look at this. Those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know I got a thing for the old uh, 56 Fords. Would love to own one of these one day. I kind of go back and forth on if I'd want one more original or if I'd want like a resto mod. I don't know. What do you guys think? There's, there's fans for the originals, and then there's fans for the people that want it to look original, but want all the modern day accommodations. Seriously guys, this truck, I'm, I'm drooling on this truck right here. This thing's awesome. I guess I've kind of been drooling on most of these cars, honestly. I'm gonna stop talking about my drool now, because it's not, it's not what you want, came here for. 
apologize. Look at this thing. F-250. Another really sharp Mustang here. Gosh, I got so many nice cars here. And they're actually fairly reasonably priced too. A lot better than some places I go. They're just so expensive some places I go, but that's because the cars at those places are like almost museum pieces. This is kind of fun though, because you can, like I said in one of my last videos too, it just feels like you could drive these, use them, you know, without having to worry too much. That doesn't go for every car here. Some of the cars here I think are are so nice that I'm not sure I would feel comfortable driving them, but some of them are like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, Ford Mustang convertible. Gotta love that. All right, believe it or not, we've made it through this entire room. Went pretty fast. I believe I got everything I wanted to get. Now we're gonna cruise back here to this room behind the covers for more treats. Look at that. Look at this. Let's start back here with MSRA's car of the year for 2021. Back to the 50s, MSRA's car of the year 2021 this 54 chevy here Nominated, but it also won it. Yeah, this is a beautiful 54. Staying here.
pretty incredible. All right, let's take a look at this one real quick, y'all. Yeah. No kitty. <laughs> Ford here. Love Trans Ams. I like the T tops on this one like tinted window t-tops, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I've seen that before.
four-door paint job's got a few blemishes here and there. I'm sure it's probably got some miles on her, but 55 for 12, that's that ain't bad. Wow. Another beautiful Pontiac Trans Am here. Man, I love looking at cars. This is like, this is amazing. It's like my very own car show. <laughs> oh, this place is amazing spot. Big old Ford F-250 square body truck. Nice Pontiac Firebird here. Look at that. The straight six overhead cam in it too, I think. That is cool. This has an original. This is like numbers matching, a lot of original parts and pieces to it. Um, original interior they're saying too on this thing. Look at that. Untouched original interior. The slant six in her. Look at the back window, how it caves, like bends in. Can you see that? So <laughs> That is so cool. Looks like this uh, 68 GTO is oh, they just have the headlight down this one, sold. Eh? The cover, eh? 
This uh, 68 Pontiac GTO is uh, sold, I think. Look at this, he's, he's winking at us. He's like, he's winking at us because he's been sold. He's like, <laughs> man, look at this monster. I call this shot uh, sniffing tailpipe. <laughs> right, looks like another Corvair here. Man, this is great shape, like most cars. Chevy Impala. Biscayne.
this car right here has 45, not 4,500, 45 original miles. They bought it, they parked it, they kept it. They said that they haven't even taken the top down. The convertible top down on this car has never been down. This is a completely original car. Time, time piece here. Right off the factory, this is what this car looked like. Incredible. Let's see if we can read any of this stuff here. The original stickers just still. Incredible. Forty five miles. along here another caddy here's a challenger an incredible resto mod challenger three ninety two brand new for auction or has already sold I can't remember I was in such awe looking at it. I can't remember what the guy told me I think but it's like a two hundred two hundred thousand dollar car though I mean they resto modded this thing to the max here it's convertible too look at that This is going to uh, Barrett Jackson. Yeah, this is going to the Barrett Jackson auction in Scottsdale. So. It's coming up soon. This car will be featured in that. I'm sure it'll go for quite a bit. It's an incredible car. This is an awesome roadster right here.
Yeah, baby. See me in that shot, I'll wave. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see me. Look at this here. Very old Ford. <laughs> wow, crank start. Look at the windshield. It's just a little bit of glass. Covered driver's face. What a what a piece here, what an amazing piece of like history. It looks like it's in really good condition for how old it is. Not sure what they're up to here with this one. Working on it, doing some type of work on it. <laughs> Look at that. Does that slide up and down then too? To lantern back there I think. Of course the gas is right behind the seats there. Look at this. Ford here. I'm not sure what's going on with this Ford here. Yeah. yeah. Right, 1927 Ford truck track T Roadster. <laughs> Look at that.
think that this would be enough cars to look at today, but oh no, oh no, no, no. Let's look at some more. <laughs> oh, it feels good out here, nice and cool. Now they don't do a ton of work on cars out here. Just do a little bit of prep work and maybe a few little things here and there, I guess. But So let's take a look and see what they got in here. sliver of a door. All right, I'm gonna kind of move a little quickly through here because there's actually another garage after this one that I want to get to. Look at that van. like a Freedom 76 written on the side, so I bet it's a 76 van. Oh, look at this little tea bucket here. up I mean probably a quick tune-up rock and roll I love it something about a tea bucket I can really see myself farting around in a tea bucket someday <laughs> and she is right up next to an old Buick 8 here just saw one of these on the uh, the last episode I did on the uh, Interstate Automotive Auto Parts. He's got one of these, not exactly like this one, but one like this out there. Hopefully somebody will get. This one is a lot better condition.
these things kind of amaze me because as you're sitting here with this window visor on the outside there you're sitting there you can't even see the stoplight there so they used to have little things right here which i found out in my one of my last videos because i didn't know what it was it was this little magnifying piece there that would actually let them see you know past the visor up the top of them so that they could see i don't know if all of them had it on there but at least it was something maybe you could add to it i'm not sure but you learn something new when you're doing this almost every time i'm out and about yeah and i think there was before we get out of this garage there's a couple more cars i want to look at okay it's an old gmc van freedom van um this old ford back here what's going on with this here Yeah, needs a little work. Needs a little work too. That's all right. Some people prefer to get cars in this condition and not too rough shape, but not too good shape. Get it for a good deal and fix her up. She's got a very good base on her anyway. To restore the interior is pretty nice. It's not too bad. Few chips in her, nothing to make her. Yeah, cool. Spice her up. Get her out there. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, All right. we got to get the inside. I love the license plate. It says Sasha. I don't know if that's the name of the van or the person who used to own it or drive it. Old GMC. Look at the inside here. <laughs> Look at the seats. Look at that. That's great. Let's stick my camera in there. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> it's a shagging wagon. Love it. these flip all the way around oh, yeah a little table there beauty the carpet and everything I'd love to go across you know I'm putting it out in the universe someday I'll have a van like this and I will travel route 66 and I will film everything for you guys putting that video out in the universe that's gonna happen someday oh yeah let's go look at this valiant back here it's like in a 60 Ford or Valiant? I'm not sure. Barracuda. Awesome. Look at this thing. Plymouth Barracuda. Like one of the first years, man. This is awesome. Saw one of these in the junkyard. One of my last junkyard videos up at Windy Hill not in this good a shape of course I think I put it actually on the JPEG there was a couple of them out there I can't remember which one I put on the JPEG look at that I'm with the Valiant yeah when the Barracudas started look at that they got the Plymouth Valiant logo there still but also they're rocking the Barracuda so Plymouth Valiant Barracuda I think I want to say this is a 64 I think that's what the guy told me. If anybody out there's ever owned one of these in the summertime, how hot did the interiors get with this massive window back here? Was that an issue with these or was that not an issue? I don't I know it was an issue with like the bubble cars of the 80s being like the pacer and the, those types of cars but that's a big back window melt some groceries in the back seat there for your record collection ah oh, gosh I love these cars these first first gen Barracudas Alrighty, I think we're gonna head into the next garage, which is going to be over here. Showroom one, over there. It's a nice uh, sunny day out there for you guys, as you can tell. <laughs> so we've been through the two showrooms over there, this little garage space here, and now 
Let's do it. Let's cruise over to showroom one. Let me figure out how to get out of here. Just giving you guys a tour of the place here. All right, let's do this. This cyclone. I've never seen one of these before. That's pretty cool. A uh, Mercury Cyclone. I like it. Another nice big old square body truck. Chevy Cheyenne. Ford Fairlane here, man. Look in here. It's all brand new inside. Clean. 
nice Camaro. Another nice Corvette here. Beautiful. Chevy Nova sitting in front of another nice uh, big old Chevy square body truck. Silverado here. Really nice 32 Ford. Looks like they're redoing the interior here. Like I said, they don't do much mechanic work on these things or anything, but they will spiff them up a little bit. Looks like they got the seats over here. <laughs> Getting those in there. Kind of a unique chance to 
<laughs> see the interior work of these things without the seats. Uh, uh, no, just kidding. I'm not in the nude. All right. Getting down to the last few cars here. Looks like this one's sold. Looks like a 56. Look at that. That's cool. So a 56 that's sold. White two door. That's awesome. Well, here's a little Triumph. That's cool. Yeah, that's a nice 56 there. I like that. Kind of a pearl white. Got a few band-aids on her here. <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? Oh, it's all right. All right, I think this is the final vehicle here of our time together this lovely day. has been a fun day out here at this place. Like I said, everything you saw today is for sale, man. Incredible spot. Really enjoyed my time out here. Yeah, buddy. guys well as you can see the snow is starting to fly like big time so i'm heading home <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode give it that thumbs up for me uh this place is awesome so i really enjoyed my time out here thanks to terry and uh the guys out here for letting me come out and uh, film the showroom really appreciate that i love doing this stuff so i appreciate you guys watching and uh yeah this was a really fun day to come out here and film all these cars so all righty gang i'm gonna travel on down the road check you on the next episode okay bye